I'm sure you've all heard the news already. Despite the Brooklyn Nets being 31-20 and and the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference, Kyrie Irving has requested a trade. The starting point guard for the Eastern Conference in the All-Star Game is unhappy with the Brooklyn Nets and he feels that he's just not wanted in the organization. It was reported only about a week ago that he did want an extension and he wanted to stay long term and, and that he wanted to be committed to the organization. But it just seems like the organization was not ready to be committed to him. He was not offered the extension that he wanted and he was not a fan of that. This wasn't the first time that Kyrie demanded a trade on a team where it seemed like everything was actually getting a lot better and there was a lot of positive upside. Just a few years back on the Cleveland Cavaliers, he requested a trade in the same offseason right after winning the NBA championship and it left the NBA world in complete shock. I mean, Kyrie and LeBron were just completely dominant out there in the playoffs and they had an incredible 3-1 comeback against the Golden State Warriors, who many people remember as possibly the greatest comeback in NBA Finals history and one of the greatest NBA Finals series of all time. So why did Kyrie do this? The guy had just hit one of the biggest and clutchest shots of all time and he was a hero in the city of Cleveland. Everybody loved him. What reason was there for this? We'll probably never really get a short answer from that, but Kyrie has hinted at the fact that he just knew it was going to come eventually and he knew that it just wasn't going to work out in Cleveland for the rest of his career and that he needed a change of scenery. So that was already one situation where even though he had won an NBA championship and so early in his career and he was one of the top players in the league and he still is, Kyrie just did not feel satisfied and he needed something else. Then it happened in late 2017, the big trade. Kyrie Irving was traded to the Boston Celtics. Kyrie was going to get the chance to lead his own team and show who he really was himself and that he wasn't just some sort of sidekick as some people thought he might be. I mean, me as a Celtics fan, I was so excited and I really wanted this to work out because this team that the Celtics were bringing out this season in 2018 was legit. They had just signed Gordon Hayward. The team had Al Horford. They just traded for Kyrie Irving. I mean, this team looked like it was really championship bound. Sadly, though, Despite the team making it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals that year, it wasn't really because of Kyrie because even though he had a great season when he was playing, there were a lot of apparent locker room issues and rumors swirling around about him being unhappy with the team even though he did say at the beginning of the season to all the fans that he was going to re-sign. So what happened here? Well, the team pretty much just fell apart that year. Even though they made the Eastern Conference Finals, it was on the back of players like rookie Jason Tatum and the second year man Jalen Brown and also Terry Rozier and Marcus Smart. Gordon Hayward went down in the first game of the season with a big injury. Kyrie had so many injury issues and the superstars of the team were just not there. Then came the offseason. The Brooklyn Nets went out and they signed Kevin Durant and they signed Kyrie Irving in the same offseason. They did know that Kevin Durant was going to be injured for the whole season though with a ruptured Achilles and he was going to come back on the second season of his contract, but they were hyped for that second year. Everybody in Brooklyn knew that the Nets were going to be serious. I mean, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, two of the most talented scorers in the NBA. And even with KD not playing a game this year, the team was still pretty solid. They made the playoffs, but they did get bounced in five in the first round against Philly. But in January of 2021 came the big move for the Brooklyn Nets. The big move that was going to bring them their championship. That was going to make them a dynasty. The Brooklyn Nets made a blockbuster 14 deal with the Houston Rockets, the Indiana Pacers, and the Cleveland Cavaliers with multiple moving parts with players and picks and acquired superstar and former MVP James Harden. This was bringing in a lineup of James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving, the big three. Nobody was going to stop this team at all. There was nothing that could hold these guys back. It's three of the most talented players of all time. It's rare when we've seen teams this good. Like, what could really stop these guys? Well, there were more issues with Kyrie Irving. The team wasn't very fond of the head coach, Steve Nash. There was an occasion where Kyrie really just disappeared on the team and nobody knew where he was and he was not even replying to the head coach. Situations like this had the team very frustrated with Kyrie Irving. Eventually, though, he came back alone and the team did go to the playoffs. They looked really strong. They dominated the Boston Celtics and they went up against the Milwaukee Bucks. And if this team was to get by Giannis and the Bucks, I see them winning an NBA championship. That's the thing, though if they would have gone by the Milwaukee Bucks. Injuries really affected them and Kyrie got hurt and James Harden also got injured during the series and he was playing hurt. Kevin Durant was putting an incredible effort and he almost hit an incredible game winning three in game seven at the buzzer. But after further review, it was called a two pointer as he had his big toe right on the line and this was a whole turn right here. The game went into overtime and Kevin Durant had another big opportunity but he ended up airballing the final shot. And in this season, the Milwaukee Bucks went to go win the NBA championship against the Phoenix Suns, giving Giannis Antetokounmpo his first ring. Then the next season, more drama started for the Brooklyn Nets. But it wasn't actually Kyrie who started it. It was actually James Harden. James Harden, who had not been there for too long, was just done with the Brooklyn Nets. He didn't want to do it anymore. 
There's also some speculation that he was tired of all of the antics that Kyrie Irving was pulling off. He was very frustrated with the team and the head coach Steve Nash. So James Harden requested a trade and he ended up forcing his way to the Philadelphia 76ers. The Nets though, they still had Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. They made the playoffs this season, 2022, and in the first round they got swept by the Boston Celtics. As the Celtics got the revenge for Kyrie stomping on the Lucky logo in the previous season. Then the 22-23 season began and this is where we are right now currently. There was a lot of drama in the offseason with Kyrie and Kevin Durant as expected they might both get traded. KD even requested a trade, but it never happened. The front office then brought in Jack Vaughn to be the head coach and he has been doing a great job. The Brooklyn Nets started off the season struggling. They were battling with some injuries, but then they really heated up with Nicholas Claxton looking like a possible defensive player of the year candidate out there. And Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving absolutely dominating, but then Kyrie found himself in some controversy again. This time it was over a film that he had shared on social media. And by Kyrie doing this, the media was claiming that he was promoting an anti-Semitic film. Now this got cancel culture on him and the Brooklyn Nets even gave him a list of things that they wanted him to do to get back to playing basketball and he was suspended. He ended up eventually coming back and the Brooklyn Nets looked really good. They even got up to the second seed in the East. Then KD went down with an injury. And this is one of the most recent things that has happened. KD still out with his injury, has not come back yet. We're about to go to the All-Star break soon. Trade deadline coming on Thursday. And Kyrie Irving has requested a trade. Comment down below where you think Kyrie Irving will land. And make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content.